Hi, welcome to Storytime. I'm Susanna with Sacramento Public Library, where books are just the beginning. Today we're going to do a story time out in our garden. First, let's say hello. To do our hello song, we're going to clap our hands just like this. We clap and sing hello. We clap and sing hello. With our friends at Storytime, we clap and sing hello. Great job, my friends. Let's tap our hands now. We tap and say hello, we tap and say hello. With our friends at story time, we tap and say hello. Great job. All right, let's do one more. Let's wiggle our fingers hello. We wiggle our fingers hello, we wiggle our fingers hello. With our friends at story time, we wiggle our fingers and say hello. Hello, everybody. Thanks so much for singing that song. Today, I thought we would come outside and we would get some mud. So we're going to make some mud. What do you need to make mud? You need some dirt. This is fresh from my garden. You need an empty container and you need some water. I'll start by pouring the dirt into the container. Put a little bit of dirt in. Uh, have you ever made mud before? What kind of mud do you like to make? Do you like it when it's nice and thick? Do you like it when it's really thin and soupy, just like eating a soup? Let's make it somewhere in the medium. Okay, so we have our dirt in our container. We need some water now. So here is some water in this very own container. I'm just gonna pour that in just a little bit. Up, oh, there it is. You can see all of the water is in the dirt. Now let's stir it up. Let's stir it up. Let's make some mud. Ooh, look at that mud. You know, I think my friends, it's a little too soupy for me. So I'm gonna add some more dirt inside. Here we go. Let's add some more dirt in there. Just enough, just like that. Now let's mix it up. You can practice mixing it up at home with me too. You can use your fingers as a spoon. Mix it up until, ooh, that's a good mud. That's nice and it's clumping together. It looks like chocolate, but please don't eat it. Don't eat your own mud. All right, my friends, now that we have our mud, what are we gonna do? I thought we could sing a song about things that are going to get muddy. All right, so let's take our first thing. Here is a little flower from my garden. Let's put it inside the mud and get it muddy. Take a flower, put it in the pot. Stir it, stir it, stir it a lot. Stir it up really good. Take it out and what do we see? The muddiest flower, whoa, we ever did see. Oh, it's so muddy, my friends. Let's put it back in the pot. What else can we make today in our mud? In our mud. Let's see. Hmm. I found this nice green leaf. It looks just like all the leaves behind me. Let's put our nice green leaf into the pot. Take a leaf and put it in the pot. Here we go. Stir it, stir it, stir it a lot. Take it out. I've got to find it. And what do we see? The muddiest leaf we ever did see. Wow, look how muddy it is. It's dripping mud everywhere. Let's put it back in our pot. Hmm, what else can we put in our mud? How about a little stone? A little stone just like this. Okay, here we go. Take a stone and put it in the pot. Let me get my spoon. Stir it, stir it, stir it a lot. Ooh, I wonder if I can find my stone. I wonder where it went. Ah, uh, I don't know, it's so soupy inside. Let's pretend that we're taking it out. Take it out. Oh, here it is. And what do we see? The muddiest stone we ever did see. Great job, my friends. That was hard finding that stone. Now my fingers are all muddy. That's okay. That's why mud is so much fun. If you're a grown up watching, exploring new textures is a great way to bring new vocabulary into your child's life. All right, my friends, let's do one more. I found a stick. Found a stick. It's kind of hard to see there. It is it's very thin. It's pointy at the end. All right, let's put it in our pot. Take a stick and put it in the pot. Stir it, stir it, stir it a lot. Take it out and what do we see? The muddiest stick we ever did see. Wow, it's so muddy. Oh, my friends, it got mud on my face, but that's okay, because we're gonna wash our hands in a minute too. All right, my friends, thank you so much for doing that. The mud off my face just like that there we go all right my friends let's find our fingers how many fingers do we have on this hand we have one two 
three, four, five fingers. They're gonna get a little dirty today. Here we go. Five little fingers went out to play, out in the mud where they played all day, until one finger said, oh, it's time to go. So she tucked herself right down below. <gasps> How many fingers do we have left? One, two, three, four. Four little fingers went out to play, out in the mud where they played all day. Then one little finger said, oh, it's time to go. So she tucked herself right down below. How many fingers do we have left? Let's see, one, two, three muddy fingers. Three little fingers went out to play, out in the mud where they played all day, really muddy. Then one finger said, oh, it's time to go. So she tucked herself right down below. Now we have two fingers left, two fingers. Two little fingers went out to play, out in the mud where they played all day. Then one finger said, oh, it's time to go. So she tucked herself right down below. We have one finger left, my friends, it's super muddy. Okay, here we go. One little finger went out to play, out in the mud where it played all day. Then the finger said, oh, it's time to go. So it tucked itself right down below. No more fingers left, my friends. So we actually have lots of mud in our pot. I hope you can make mud at home. It's super simple, just need dirt and some water. You can make really thick mud, you can make really thin mud. My friends, now that we've played with some mud, let's clean up. So to do that, I have a pot of water. I have water right here. And I also have some dish soap. Here's my dish soap. I'm gonna pour my dish soap into there. And let's take our fingers, let's put them in the water. And let's swirl them and swish them and scrub them. Look how dirty that water is, but look how clean my fingers are now. Look at that, they're so clean, they're so wet. So let's take our dish towel brought a dish towel out with me in my garden and dry my fingers off. And now they're super duper clean. Awesome job, my friends, high five for you. There's a really great song that goes with this. So let's take our dish water again. This is the way we wash our fingers, wash our fingers, wash our fingers. This is the way we wash our fingers early in the morning. Ah, oh, they're super clean again and they smell like the soap. I hope you guys can try that song out. It's one of my favorites for washing our hands. All right, my friends, thanks so much for coming to my outside story time. I hope you can go make mud now at your home. It's very simple. You just need dirt and water, some dish towels to clean up, some water to clean up, some soap. It is so much fun. Let's sing our goodbye song. We clap and say goodbye. We clap and say goodbye. With our friends at story time, we clap and say goodbye. Great job. Let's pat our head. We pat our heads and say goodbye. We pat our heads and say goodbye. With our friends at story time, we pat our heads and say goodbye. Let's do our last one. Let's wiggle our fingers. We wiggle our fingers goodbye. We wiggle our fingers goodbye. With our friends at story time, we wiggle our fingers goodbye. Thanks so much for watching this outdoor story time, my friends. Don't forget to like this video and share it with your friends. For Sacramento Public Library, I'm Susanna. We'll see you again soon.